They need it. We need it. For Hugo Sanchez, a day without buses can mean a day without work. I work, oh, I work right here in Anaheim, but I live in Paramount, so sometimes, you know, when my car broke down, so I need to get this bus. But he and thousands of others likely won't have a choice on Monday morning. Unless a last minute deal is reached between the Orange County Transportation Authority and Teamsters Local 952, the union that represents maintenance employees. The company has failed to uh, reward them for the great work they do. Local 952's Eric Jimenez says the OCTA hasn't done enough to address health, welfare, and wage issues, and that striking is their only option. It's one of the hardest decisions to make. You know, we do understand that the public is going to be affected by the buses not rolling. But the best thing they can do is they can call up the Orange County supervisors who have great health care plans for themselves, um, who get great wages, and tell them, hey, we, you know, we ride the buses to school, we ride the buses to doctor's appointments, work, um, go back to the table and start negotiating with the mechanics that keep us safe. But OCTA officials say they've made every effort to avoid a strike meeting with union negotiators more than 20 times since May. Chairman Mark Murphy, who's also the mayor of Orange, says we've offered the union a fair and competitive deal that rewards our maintenance employees for the great work they perform. For the sake of our riders, we hope the union would reconsider its position and come back to the table. People in Orange County have mixed views on whether a strike makes sense. It's a good idea. They should keep striking because they deserve more money. They help out a lot. It's, it's without them, people wouldn't be getting to jobs. Well, I don't think it's fair, you know, like because a lot of people is gonna get effect, like affected by it, especially like workers and stuff. We feel for the public, but at the end of the day, we are not just standing up for our members. We're actually standing up for the public people that need higher wages, that also need health care. So uh, we're a voice for everybody, even if you're not a Teamster member.